Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Consciousness Unleashed Podcast with Bonnie Seratori. I'm your co-host, Cynthia. Today's episode is all about intuition, how to develop your intuition, and especially for those who are learning to, wanting to develop their intuition, and maybe they're beginners, and, and even people who are pretty experienced, they'll definitely get a lot out of today's episode. Um, but before we do that, we do have a special guest. But I don't want to introduce her just yet. I actually have, I want to test your intuition, the audience. So I have a question for you. And the idea here is I'll ask the question. You tune into your intuition, pause the video, comment below what your answer is, and then uh, see, test your intuition out. See if you get it right or wrong. It'll be a little fun game. And at the end of the video, I'll give you the answer. And if you get it wrong, you might want to take the intuitive view course. <laughs> um, so it just I'll ask the question and then go ahead and pause it and then tune into your intuition. So um, today's episode is Consciousness Unleashed podcast, two shamans and a muggle edition. And so there's three of us here. So the question is that today is two shamans and a muggle. And so Sarah's with us today. There's me, Cynthia, and of course there's Bonnie. So the question is, who's the muggle out of all three of us? Which one of us is the muggle? So go ahead, I'll give you some time. Go ahead and pause the video. And is is it Bonnie? Is she is she the muggle? Maybe it's Sarah, or maybe it's me. <laughs> Who's the muggle? So uh, let us know. And um, no cheating, because I'll give the answer at the end. All right. So. Now that you're back after getting that answer, let's continue with today's episode. Um, our special guest today is Sarah Ellingworth. She's the lead accelerator of Bonnie Seratori's team. And um, she is also the instructor of Intuitive View, which is the intuition course, uh, that six week course. And we'll be talking about that more in today's episode. Um, later, we're gonna go into the details of all the different modules and what you'll get from the course. Um, but the rest of this video um, we're going to be getting into just talking about intuition, uh, how to develop your intuition, how to trust your intuition, what are things that are in the way of that, and whatever other wisdom that comes from um, these two women with us today. So Sarah, welcome again. Thank you for joining us again. Um, it's always a pleasure having you. You've been on the show twice now, I think it's been. Yeah. yeah and um, so uh, feel free to introduce yourself now. And and then actually, I do have a question about, since we're talking about intuition, um, what is, and you're the intuition teacher. So I want to know, did you have to actually develop your intuition? Were you born with intuition? Like, what is your journey? And mm -hmm. can you tell us about that? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, everyone's born with intuition. It's um, really <clears throat> about taking all the layers that we've shoved on ourselves to, sh to shut that aspect down. Every human on the planet has intuition. It's just we have our own unique ways of connection and skills and aspects of our being that are stronger than others. Um, so, yeah, I did. I had several experiences as a kid that actually scared the crap out of me and even as a teenager um and I dabbled as teenagers do and scared the crap out of myself and shut it down quite epically actually the, the like I was genuinely genuinely scared so I didn't touch it for a really long time and um yeah it wasn't until in my late 20s that I got to a point where I just thought there's I was really unhappy and I just thought there's got to be more to life than this. And that really um, sparked the self-exploration and the healing. And I had tried um, even meditation in my 20s and I just couldn't. <laughs> I had a very strong mind, um, a very overactive mind and, um, and a lot of stress. And so I had all of the repetitive looping thoughts and re, you know, replaying conversations and overanalyzing. And I had, uh, my mind was like, well, my mental body was really out of control. So that kept me in a state of confusion and disempowerment and all the usual things. And that's what got me to the point where I was like, I was just so unhappy. I wasn't listening to myself. I didn't know who I really was, what I wanted. I was really quite lost um, and unhappy. So 
that was when I was like, right, there's I, this, this can't be it. This can't be all there is. And started to tune into myself. And I did that with help. You know, I went and had sessions with um, a psychologist and um, a counsellor. And, and that's when I also started receiving Reiki and just, just doing all the things, just, just anything really. I was just like, <laughs> I need help. I need help. And I just went anywhere. Like I actually didn't know where I, what I was supposed to be doing, um, which I think is also too what a lot of people do. They just show up and go, I need help and I don't know what it is that I need. Oh, that was me. Um, and then it was actually the Reiki session that I had that um, I had these experiences and I started seeing things and I was like, what the hell was that? It just opened up this whole other world. But at that point I then had the maturity that I needed to go, okay, well I can explore this. This is good. This is, this is something I'd like to look at. And I just copied, I just copied what they did and, um, with my breath and, um, relaxing and I, I yeah, I just re- tried to recreate that experience and more things started to happen and more things started to open up and I started to see more and I I actually became an addiction. <laughs> I ended up, I, I loved that experience. And, and even though I was still seeing some scary stuff, cause like everything can come in at that point, you, you're really open to anything. Um, and the experiences that I had and what I was seeing um, was quite confronting, but I had the maturity to go, oh, interesting, <laughs> who are you, um, and to explore it instead of shutting it down. So that was sort of the beginning of um, or what sort of put me onto this journey, but it was really the, um, for me, definitely the the connection to self um, and trying to figure out who I was and where I was going because I just knew the path that I had been uh, sort of put on was not the right path for me and that's why I was so unhappy. Um, But, yeah, the intuition piece was um, a very prominent part of the journey and and what was unfolding within me. Um, and And I loved it. And so it was something that I wanted to explore more. I mean, there's different types of meditation where you can just, just for meditation, just for, you know, um, mental clarity of mental health and, um, you know, support for the physicality. But I sort of went down the path of opening up the intuition and connecting into the divine and um, my higher self. I sort of went that path, which is usually, you know, people who are interested in something like um, intuitive view, that's sort of the path that they're also looking at is to open up their awareness. And they know that there's more more to just the world that we see with our physical eyes. Um, there's a lot more that we can see intuitively. Um, and that journey has just continued to expand. It, it hasn't stopped. <laughs> like, even though I've been doing it for a long time now and, you know, Bonnie would be the same, it just continues to reveal more and more, which I think is, you know, I feel incredibly blessed to have that capacity and I love helping others open up that part of themselves as well. It's really beautiful to watch. So, yeah, that's how I sort of got onto this path. <laughs> is that the same for you, Bonnie? Did you have to take classes and such and develop it? or Because you seem like you're so advanced it was always just on for you. Is that right? Well, what happened for me was, I mean, I always, when I was growing, as a child, really young, I always knew because there were spirits in the house, they were messing around with me and whatever, my sister and brother, and all three of us were extremely intuitive. Um, My whole life, I was always, I always felt things. I always had the knowing, I always had that deep feeling sense of uh, feeling energies, that type of thing. But I did do a class um, to to focus on like opening up the third eye. So even though it was already open, I didn't really understand what I could do with that. I didn't really get that. Oh, I could start asking questions. Oh, I could start tracking stuff. I didn't learn that in the class. What I learned in the class was how to, um, like, for example, to open up the third eye. It was really about doing that. So we did some mocking up things where you're, you're imagining something and pretty soon things would just start presenting. Like, for example, um, it'd be like, okay, mock up a rose. So you put a rose and make it a certain color. So you're having the intention. So you're creating that in your mind. Okay. So that's what I learned how to do was that kind of thing. But I mean, once I, once I understood what this, how to work it, how to use it, 
you know, look where I am now. Okay. So I do know this. I know this. All of us, you know, I've been major healers. I've been major teachers. I've been all kinds of high level uh, consciousness in many, many lifetimes. I'm just bringing it forth now. I do want to share one little thanks. It's kind of cool. Here's my training on shamanism. This is my training. Okay. I'm in Hawaii. My business partner, she goes, Bonnie, we had a client coming. She goes, Bonnie, this woman, so-and-so needs a soul retrieval. I'm like, what? She goes, don't worry about it. She already knew me. You know, she goes, she gets here. Don't worry. You'll just, so she comes. So the woman comes and my friend, business partner, Molly says, okay, Bonnie, you need to lay down next to her, put, you know, just make sure you're touching and you have to go find a piece of her. And then she started drumming. So I went, Found I, you guys. I just went. I found where she was at. I made a. Tra- I didn't even know. I just made this trade. Got what she wanted. Brought her back. That was the beginning. That was my training, and here I am now. So I know. I did major shamanic work in past lives. Major. Okay, it's just reawakening what we already do, what we already mm-hmm. know. So for me personally, it wasn't really about I needed to develop or re- reopen or recreate or reawaken or whatever, it was always there. I just needed just one little guidance and boom, I could take off. That, you know, clearly, and I know this, is because of all the different lifetimes and what I've done. Same with everyone, okay? Mm -hmm. It's really cool. So anybody is like, so people might be thinking, well, I don't have that or I don't, you know, whatever, but you don't know because you could take a program like with Sarah because she's an awesome teacher and all of a sudden you could be like me, whoa. Whoa, I know how to do this. How cool would that be? I mean, really? Okay. So my point is, is that you don't know. Like I never would have guessed I was a shaman or any of that kind of stuff, but it was natural. Just boom, that was it. And I was doing it. Powerful, potent work immediately. It was just a remembering. So, you know, Sarah's going to offer that. She'll hold a frequency. She'll also hold a vibration. And as she, because she's got hers open, it'll remind your frequency too, and it'll awaken yours just by being in her presence. That's what happens. Mm. So yeah, that was my journey. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're always learning. Like that's the thing, you know, you will meet someone who's coming like as a teacher, you meet someone who's coming going, Oh, I need help with this. Open up this. And I know for me, it's just just continue to expand. Like it is literally endless. Wherever you think you are, you're not at the beginning line. And wherever you think you are, you're not at the end. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just constant expansion of who we are. Yeah. And we keep showing up to learn more. And yeah. I guess that's my approach. Like even when I'm teaching, I'm learning. And mm-hmm. even when I show up with a client, I'm learning. And that's how I continue to see stuff that mm-hmm. I like I'm <laughs> every time the divine shows up or something happens and I'm like, I just it's just it's mystifying. Do you know what I mean? It's fascinating. It's I've yeah. I see I couldn't make this stuff up <laughs> if I tried. And it's I love true. that. I love that experience. Like you just yeah. I think also too bringing it back to the everyday, um, you know, your ability to show up in that way within yourself, um, yeah, yeah. the learning and the expansion. That's the, that's the key piece for me that I love with, yeah. um, you know, learning intuition and in, in tuning into that part. It's exciting. It's, yeah. you know what I mean? Like who I was before I started to open this up, I was like, yeah, it's got to be more to life than this. This is what, what is this? This is not life. <laughs> and now it's like, yeah, you see things, you experience things, you interact with beings that just yeah. <laughs> yeah. of another world, literally. Um, true. And it's yeah. awesome. It's amazing. And everyone can do it. That's the thing. Everyone can do it in their own unique way. Just, mm-hmm. you know, how you and I, how all of us receive information that mm-hmm. it, 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 there isn't a one way shape form avenue for everybody right. however and that's the thing with intuitive view you will learn in your there's space for you to learn in your own unique way mm-hmm. um using the tools and the guidance it opens up your own natural abilities um yeah, yeah. it's cool I love, and, and I love you will, they will have natural they'll have different different ways because you have all the different 
you know, different ways we sense energy. And what ha- what for me, what happened too was once I really, because I got excited, I was, you guys, it became my whole life. Nothing, I didn't, that's all I wanted was to, you know, like do readings and, you know, work with the energy like that. I was so excited about it. But, and then what happens too is everything starts to open, like the uh, clear audience starts to happen as well. You know what I mean? It's like you get, and then the, that knowing and the, the even t- the smell, there's words for the cognitive, all different word uh, labels, but you start hearing, smelling, tasting, everything starts to open up. And, and my main way is sight. I'm, I'm definitely the clairvoyant sight. Okay. But yeah, so you, you, it's like, you don't even worry about it. You, you, everyone has a natural uh, ability, a natural flow, a natural way of, of using their intuition and they've been doing it for past lives. So you come in and you start reawakening and opening up and then you'll start to discover, oh yeah, you know, I hear things. It's just like everything comes through or it comes through in that knowing. I just know, you know, and for a lot of people, the sight. And sometimes too, I, people think that because they don't see things, they don't want to trust what they're, what they're receiving, you know? And truthfully for me, it's like sometimes the knowing is one of the most profound ways to, to get energy, to sense things. And, so it doesn't really matter how you get your information or how you receive it. You know, once you start practicing, it just gets bigger and bigger, like what Sarah's saying. You know, you're just, you're just enhancing, developing, opening, and saying yes. And then, whoa, look out. Everything starts to open for mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and one of the, the one of the biggest feedbacks um, that people who are looking at this are, are saying they doubt and, you know, they know that they get information, but they doubt it or they don't trust it or there's mm-hmm. confusion um, or it's unclear. So a lot of people come to hone their skills. Like they know that there's something there, but they don't quite know how to navigate mm-hmm. that aspect of themselves to mm-hmm. trust it or have allow it to come through louder. So there's a ton, like each class in intuitive view, we actually do clearing to help remove the dross, um, remove all of the noise that we have within ourselves to help clear those aspects up so we can um, identify. Because I think we were talking before about the knowing um, and trusting the knowing. Mm -hmm. I love knowing and knowing can be one of the clearest resonances for me, Mm -hmm. but it was also the hardest one to develop um, because it's like, yeah, how do you know if it's just me making this crap up? <laughs> Whereas when you see something, you know you saw it. It's very validating. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. knowing, yeah. you know, there's a huge trust piece that has to happen yeah. Yeah. Um, within. But yeah, I like I how you're explaining the knowing. Yeah, I, I just remember because I in my life, when I started seeing clients, to me it was really important that I'm giving right, because I started off, Prior to, I actually started before um, 1986. That I, 1986 is when I became like a healer. Prior to that, I was doing readings, okay? But I didn't, um, you know, I always wanted to give correct information. So when I would do a reading or, or anything like that, my mind, I mean, I'd be like, is this real? I mean, and here's the thing. Here's how I understood because you guys, I can't make something up. I don't have... I've not seen stuff that I see, that we see, you know what I'm saying? And the way things present, like there's no way I could even make that up in my own mind. I, I already know that, okay? So when I'm seeing stuff, it's like, whoa, what is, you know? And then pretty soon it, it's like, I would question, like, am I making this up? Is this real? Where's this coming from? And so I decided for me personally, it was like, okay, it's presenting. I'm just gonna pretend that this is what this is real. So that's how I started to learn that what I was actually getting really was real. Okay. Because if it was wrong, then there would be feedback and would something else would happen. But the more I just started, okay, that's it. This I saw that, that presented. I'm just going to read it, speak it, talk about what it means, how what it's what it's what it's showing up. And in doing that, that's how I, you know, began to really trust my own knowing or my own intuition, my own sight my own Mm -hmm. abilities to sense energy. So Sarah, some of the things you mentioned about like how to trust, how to know, and that uh, perhaps, you know, people like students have a lot of doubt in their abilities. And and Bonnie was saying that many of the people who come into this, they already do have a lot of abilities. 
and maybe they're just dormant or maybe they're just a bit, um, maybe not even dormant really, but they just don't recognize that they're already using them. And so the class that you're teaching intuitive view is a six week class. And it really does give that like a proper framework, I would say for giving people some uh, foundational understanding of, of how the information already comes in for them. Um, but also what could actually be in the way Right, because you talked about the clearings and you talk about the different things. So could you go a little bit into, into what are some of the things that actually block people from can, you know, developing their intuition, trusting them and developing mm-hmm. even further, um, like what, what you were talking about, the doubt? Uh, I think one of the biggest impacts is fear, <laughs> just fear. And through that, we have the trauma as well and stress and disconnection from themselves um they're sort of the main things and then you've got your belief systems that keep you separate or not able to trust yourself or um you know experiences where they've they've been this lifetime or previous lifetimes um where again out of trauma and fear you go into protection mode so it creates further separation um so it's really clearing when there's a desire, like a, uh, on a soul level or just within you, when there's a desire there to connect more to yourself and to the, the innate part of you that you know is there, but you're just having trouble either connecting to it or trusting it or it comes in and out, it's not consistent or it's a part of you that that feels foreign, but you know it is there. Do you know what I mean? Like there can just be interference um in your ability to connect into that part of you so um in the clearings we're removing the frequencies of fear we're clearing the frequencies of trauma um belief systems um Mm. whatever is being held within your within your being on all levels of your being that is creating the disconnection or um keeping it separate from you so that is then you know, that that part of the class then supports you to lean into the tools, um, use the techniques that are given to you to then expand and play. So play is a big part of intuitive you where you just, without expectation and um, without trying to project anything on you or the outcome, you are just playing in this space um, that allows you to explore yourself and this particular um, aspect of you so whether it's you know trying to engage or open up the third eye to see more or whether it's opening up the throat I mean particularly for women but we all have or we can all have um a lot of um it's like the throat is closed there can be a lot of trauma and fear in the throat that stops and the throat is a really big part of our intuitive skills everyone thinks it's up here and it is but it's all it's the crown it's it's actually all of it your whole being we talk about intuitive view as well it's your base chakra it's your, it's your solar plexus it's your sacral you are one big walking talking ball of energy and you are receiving information through all of these centers every day every minute of the day you are receiving information so it's about actually understanding that concept and again delving into that part of you and figuring out what is this who is this what what am i like what am i receiving here what am i feeling is this mine is this something else what's going on so when you get clearer and you clear out again all the dross all the stuff that's backed up in there all the things you've been holding on to when we clear that out then it becomes easier to identify oh that's me I'm I'm feeling this why am I feeling this because I believe this and so you identify belief system you pull it out then when you become more neutral and less judgmental or less critical or whatever it is that's getting triggered within you you have the capacity there's more reach for you with complete neutrality and clarity to receive information that is just it's just information, if that makes sense. It can come in with ease and flow and you can receive it and then let it go wherever it needs to, whether it's your inner guidance or whether it's you helping a client or you want to do a reading or, do you know what I mean? It just helps the flow. It just opens everything up. Um, so, yeah, that's something that we explore as well. All the chakras and all aspects of our being, including the mental and emotional body and the spiritual bodies, um, to remove whatever is not you 
and what are you're holding and and the self exploration you might think that it's you but it might actually not be and so we can clear that as well um yeah so that's that's a really cool i love that part of intuitive you because how many intuitive courses are out there where you get the clearings and the healings to support the opening up and expansion of your intuitive aspects i think that's pretty cool what i have done before in the past um I did some intuition courses before and they were, they didn't have any of the clearing aspects or uh, there was meditations and such like that, but that was mainly to connect you with whatever we were supposed to connect with to get answers. And uh, it was like immediate, like there was one that was like immediately channel like that day, you know, and it it was like, I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing (laughs) Mm-hmm. <laughs> what am I even connecting with? So mm-hmm. um, I really like that there, there's that real like foundational, you give people like foundational level information. And of course we get to practice that and you give us it. it the classes are about three hours, I think each for six weeks yeah. too. So that's <clears throat> a lot of time yeah. to um, understand these and actually practice them and have you um, available for questions at the end of each class i think one of the consistent feedbacks that we've had about intuitive view is that everyone has felt so much more confident in their abilities coming out of that course and i think you highlighted that it's like um allowing people to explore themselves the trust develops within themselves they become more familiar with what these key aspects are of their intuitive abilities and they learn how to use it. And they're like, oh, I can feel it. I can see it. I know I get, I'm getting stuff. This is good. Mm-hmm. And so that confidence mm-hmm. within them develops. So that was one of the main, one of the consistent feedbacks that we've had from intuitive viewers that they feel so much more confident within themselves um, with their intuitive abilities. And I think that's, um, you know, it's like anything when you're teaching someone or when someone is learning a new skill, whatever it is, doesn't matter what it is, they want to have confidence within themselves to keep exploring, to keep learning, to have that enjoyment piece connected to it. The joy is really important um, when you're learning. And this is who everyone wants to learn more about themselves. Everyone is all, I want to know more about me. Mm-hmm. And this is what intuitive you can offer, you know, self-exploration. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's amazing. Yeah, I think it's important too that we that we make clear that developing your, your intuition, your senses, all of that is not the same as a shaman. Okay, intuition you learn how to mm. read stuff, you get information, all kinds of cool things, but you're not really you're not learning how to shift and change and track and all of that. Okay, so I think it's important. This is really about people really opening up to their natural innate abilities and developing that. And then from there, the the world is open to you, you know, from there you can springboard Mm -hmm. into something different or, you know, whatever, whatever your heart is drawn towards, you'll, you know, you'll be drawn to something and Mm -hmm. play with that. But I think it's important that uh, they understand this is about intuition. not Yeah. I think, um, <clears throat> intuitive view is an amazing platform if you're not sure what course you want to do um and, and there is like shamanic work that you want to explore i think intuitive view is an amazing platform to come in dip your toe in the water figure out where am i at what am i ready for um and it just brings everything within you online so that you can then go in and just totally um, it's like you can jump into the deep end of the pool, if that makes sense. Like we've had people that have come through and done intuitive view because they didn't feel ready for foundations or there were some people who wanted to do foundations, but they haven't committed because they didn't think that they were ready. And the truth is they actually are, but it's that they, they don't, they, they, they lack the confidence within themselves to be able to jump in and sort of do the deep dive intuitively straight away. So um, if that, if yeah, shamanic work, um, anything to do with energy, um, or being a healer, any capacity, if that's something that 
you would like to explore but lack the confidence, Intuitive You will absolutely give you the space to develop yourself to a level where you can confidently go in and go, okay, I can do something. I know what I'm doing. I can see stuff. I can feel stuff. I, I'm ready to explore more. I'm ready to mm -hmm. jump into the other end of the pool. <laughs> yeah. It does help with your daily life. You know what I mean? It's pretty, it's like when you're, when you're being, whole being is actually activated in a way that is natural. Okay. Mm. Because we are naturally organically intuitive beings. That's it. Okay. So when you've, when you're no longer closing the door, no longer fearing, no longer resisting, no longer blocking, whatever, your whole life changes. And then mm -hmm. pretty soon you're feeling, sensing, knowing it's like, wow, this is pretty cool. So you're both talking about how this could change your life. And, um, but one of the things that Sarah does happen, do in the class is teach people how to get a clear yes and no on things. So can you talk mm. about? So <clears throat> I think I sort of touched on it before when I was talking about how I was really lost and disconnected, you know, sort of my entire life <laughs> into my 20s and doing life that way just felt wrong. Like it literally was like, I'm just so not where I need to be. I was around peg in a square hole <laughs> and I didn't, and I just knew it was wrong, but I didn't know what was right. So um, this whole journey of developing my intuition and the self-exploration, and it is literally can be as simple as figuring out your yes from your no in what's right for your, what is right for you. Should I take this job? Is this the right job for me? And being able to really clearly hear your yes and no without the belief systems, without, you, you know, you've got fam family and friends telling you what you should or shouldn't be doing in your back, in the back of your head. You've got, you know, pressures or expectations around what you want to be earning or the direction of your career. You know, all of this is playing a part in your decision making. But when you simplify it into, your intuition or your knowing and coming into, is this the right job for me? Yes or no. Like it ticks all the boxes, but there's something within you that's holding you back and you don't know why when you can tune into yourself and go, is this the right job for me? Yes or no. And you get a no. And then, and it just, and you explore that and it feels right and it drops in and you're like, okay, I'm not going to do it. And everyone around you is like, what are you doing? And you're like, it's just not the right job for me. Yeah. And then you can, and you wait until the right job comes along and then you're in your amazing alignment. You're in a job that is the right workplace with the right people earning amazing money. Do you know what I mean? Like this is a basic way of how using your intuition can amplify your life to, even though you have the chatter, even though you have these people of influence, even though you have these pressures of day, daily life and your money and all the rest of it, you still have the ability to go, is this right for me? It's the same with a relationship. Is this the right person for me? You've got all your desires and you've got all of your, you know, I'm really attracted to this person and they tick all the boxes. Is this the right connection for me? And you get a no. <laughs> you might still go ahead with that person because you just really want to because it would be fun. But yeah. do you know what I mean? Like being able to learn what's in alignment for you, and, what's right for you. <laughs> and you probably will. <laughs> <laughs> do it anyway. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> if you've got a person standing in front of you and you're like, oh, yes, please, <laughs> and your intuition is like, it's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to override it. <laughs> and then later uh, you'll go, oh, dang, I should have listened. <laughs> 100%. Oh, yes. Very familiar with that story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've all done that uh, one, but, right, Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yes, <laughs> using your intuition and learning that really basic concept of the yes and the no, that's, it's super powerful. It's simple, but it's super powerful. And it's a really nice place to start too, when you're trying to develop your trust and your confidence mm -hmm. and listening to what's that resonance, the knowing within you versus the mind. Um, it's a really basic, um, simple technique that you can use to sort of go down that path and and it, like I said before it will just continue to expand and it will come in faster and quicker and the more you use it um, the stronger it gets so absolutely any decision you make you make hundreds hundreds and hundreds of decisions every day should I eat this should I go there should I make take that call <laughs> And your it's intuition, true. like your intuition will just, and, and this is something that a lot of people do naturally, but they don't realize that it's their intuition or they sort of overlook 
the what's coming through in their connection they'll think of someone and then that person will call them or they'll think of someone and then reach out and that person just really needed to hear from them like their pet just died or something's just happened and they're like oh i'm so glad you just called that's your intuition connecting into that so when you're in the divine flow everything just goes bing 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 and it just happens and life is more it's effortless like you you do you know what i mean you, and you're using your intuition and your connection to allow that to happen it really can amplify your life on very on a very simple level as well as you know big decisions um but the consistency of using those muscles if you like um will help them develop so that it's it is effortless can you demonstrate your ability sarah Sure. <laughs> well, I do in class. Read, Come on, in third view. That's where I do it. <laughs> read um, something. What's that? Sorry. Use your intuition right now. Okay. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Read something. <laughs> read something. Like what? Don't you, Sarah? Don't you just, you know, when people do that kind of thing, it's like really. I don't know. I people, like it's not a party trick. I use it guys, every bloody day. <laughs> I have people saying to me, "Well, can you read me?" And it's like. Well, there's a thousands and thousands of things I could be reading. What do you want to know? Okay. Yeah. Let's pinpoint. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And that's actually, and so that's how I, even with the session, like it'll be, um, I'm not here to, I'm not, a, I, I'm not here to je- do a general reading. You ask me something and we'll look at the energy of that. Like what's happening with that specific issue. Cause otherwise it's just the ego. That's the other thing. And, and understanding how the ego shows up with your intuition is something we also explore in intuitive view. But um, I don't really, yeah, to be honest, I don't, I just like, you give me something and we'll look at the energy of that. We got to give a good demo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to do an activity to for, for everyone watching at home right now. We're going to play with the yes, no. So <clears throat> just bring your, allow yourself to use your breath to just drop in, get really still within your whole being. So you just, just pausing the chatter, just pausing all the stuff of the day. So just use your breath, taking in a slow, deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. And just allowing yourself to become really still. <clears throat> and when you're ready, you're going to think of a question. Think of something. Something pressing could be, what am I going to have for dinner? <laughs> it could be, um, should I take that call? Try and find something with a yes, no answer. So should I have chicken for dinner tonight? <laughs> should I call that person back? Should I, well, not even should, it's like, do I, <clears throat> do I need to go, do I need to go there? Or is this something I can not do? Whatever a yes, no, something that's really pressing for you. So just stay with your breath and you may want to feel into your heart. So just bringing your awareness into your heart space. And when you're ready, <clears throat> you can either visualize or sense, use, use however you want to receive information. So you may like to place your yes on the left side of you and your no on the right side of you. So this is just getting a really clear space between the yes and the no. You may feel it within you. You may just hear a yes or a no. So just getting really clear in the difference between yes and no at this point. And if you're having trouble with that, then I would say put your yes on the left and your no on the right. Just stay with your breath. And now you can ask yourself, ask yourself the question. And any thoughts, any judgments, any instinctive reactions, just allowing it to all fall away. You may want to push that energy out. You can keep pushing it out. Any judgments, any expectations, any attachments, just keep pushing that out. Staying really still in the heart space and asking again. And just seeing where that yes or no lands.
And if you feel like you're still getting interference with the mind or the stress or the panic, if there's fear coming in, just allow, again, pushing that right out, <clears throat> pushing it out, just letting it go, moving it out. There's no right or wrong in the answer. You may get the answer and do something different. <laughs> again, there's no right or wrong in it. So just letting that move out, pushing out the stress, pushing out the expectations and the attachments. Taking in another long, slow, deep breath in and asking the question again. And then when you've got your answer, just see how that feels when you when you accept that as an answer. That's another thing that you can do to get into alignment. How does this feel? One of the things we talk about in intuitive view is really um, there is no right or wrong. We're just constantly, we we are making choices all day long. Life is just a series of choices, all for our learning. And so when we can let go of the judgment of the right and wrong, it creates more space within us to connect into our intuition. How are you doing there, Cynthia? <laughs> Did you get yes or no? Yeah, so my question, Sarah, is not so much for me, but mm -hmm. for those who might be in the audience doing this and they, they're trying to feel into their yes or no, and you talk about how one side is yes and the other is no, how would a person be able to sense that? Is there like energy that goes towards one side? Or do they just feel mm -hmm. a pull? Like how is that for them? Excellent question. Uh, it can be different for everybody. So you can, another aspect of this exercise is you can put the energy of your question in the middle. So this is works if you're um, more visual or sensing and you allow the energy to fall wherever it needs to. So it may go quickly into the vroom. It might just go straight into the yes, or it could just be a gentle like like a magnetic pull. You may feel the energy. So if you, again, intend the energy of your question is sitting in front of you and you've got your yes and no, and then just allow that energy to move. You'll feel a resonance of the yes, or it may be that the the yes comes really loud or intensifies, um, or it may be the no that becomes really intense or sort of the magnitude of the no becomes really close. Um, so that's if you're putting it outside of you and the energy of the question is in front of you. Um, if you're more in the heart space, if you want to, if it's more internally and the knowing comes forward, you may just feel a yes or the resonance of yes may come forward within you. Um, you may just hear, you may hear a yes. Um, so it's, it's, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. This is part of the exploration of learning how you perceive energy, how you receive the frequency of the information that you're, that you're asking about. Um, and this is what we play with. We play with all of these different aspects. We talk about, um, we, we, you know, talk about how to receive information <clears throat> through the heart center. We talk about receiving information through the third eye and the crown, um, and there's no, again, there's no right or wrong way. There's no one way of doing it. So we create space within intuitive view for everybody to receive information in their own unique way. And then we double in different ways and different mythologies so that if you've never seen before, you can stretch that out and see what comes through. Or do you know what I mean? If you have um, you don't know how your knowing works through the crown, it's like we'll play in the crown and explore that. So you can test out aspects of you that you've never looked at before for, but you can also lean into the parts of you that you know are really strong. Um, again, the, you, no one can show up and tell you how you should be receiving information. It's about you exploring within you how you receive and then letting that unfold. So there is no right or wrong, wrong way and no one should be telling you that there is. Um, this is a space for you to explore yourself and you're given tools to help you do that 
and you play you play with it you find a growth edge over here and go oh no nah, i'm not i'm literally not getting anything so then i'm going to go over here and i'm going to play this and i'm going to do this and you will have experiences <laughs> things will happen because you are an intuitive being and you're supported in that process with the clearings to help remove the interferences that are stopping that connection so or blocking it so was the answer for me yes or no sarah Test your ability. <laughs> well, I was actually hearing a really loud yes, but I wasn't asking anything. So maybe that was for you. <laughs> <laughs> was it for me, Bonnie? Or was it yours? Was it you mine? Asking? Okay. Yeah. Well, then. <laughs> yes, cool. I won't, I won't <laughs> tell you what the question was. <laughs> but I got a yes too. So that's confirmation. Sarah knows what she's doing. She got that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was a yes yeah I'm all just right saying you've changed your name to a big one a big yes <laughs> so cool uh, thank you so much for leading us through all that Sarah and giving us all the information on intuition so intuitive you starts October 12th and is six weeks um, with Sarah Ellingworth and links will be in the description below um, I will do Sarah, do you give a 15-minute free consultation if people want to talk to you? Yeah, absolutely. So if, you're, if you've got some questions, if you're not sure that it's right or you've got something specific that you want to work through when you want to know if Intuitive You can help you with your specific needs, then by all means book a 15-minute um, consultation and we can have a chat about it. And, um, yeah, absolutely. Okay, and I think this is the part everyone was waiting for the answer to the question at the beginning of today's episode, which one of us is the muggle? Me. <laughs> Joking, <laughs> Bonnie, <don't>. really? <laughs> no. Come on. <laughs> so the answer is none of us. It was a trick question. What? It was a trick question. <laughs> Bonnie, you think I'm a muggle? <laughs> well, Cynthia has accelerated her whole. Well, she thing. used to always say three muggles and a. Or wait, yeah, a muggle and <laughs> something. Okay. Well, Alrighty I, then. I think it's Sarah a trick Rose. question. Yeah. See that that was the real test of one. Oh, intuition. the real test. You <laughs> fooled me, girl. One. Yeah. See, I think I have to take intuitive you, Bonnie. I guess I'm not an intuitive because I didn't get that. <laughs> Well, this, <laughs> this is called Two Shamans and a Muggle, um, but I'm not a shaman, that's for sure. But I'm also not a muggle. Right. Uh, you have to admit right. that, Bonnie. You've developed a lot, actually. Your development in the last 12 months has jumped heaps. <laughs> and I'm not, that's not slow internet. Heaps. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. And a large part of both, for both of you, like, has been a big part of uh, my journey definitely in my personal life and of course my spiritual growth so thank you so much and i hope everybody ha who has been joining us throughout all this time has also experienced a lot of growth as well mm. and um yeah. to further that intuitive view is definitely going to be something that will help you as well because you're not just going to learn intuition here you're going to learn um really how to you do give people a few tips on how to clear a few things too like um, yeah, so I can't I help it. Yeah. <laughs> it just slips down. <laughs> yeah, which is I think is very uh, important it's... for people uh, when they yeah, want to continue exactly. developing their intuition and such. Yeah, to know how to help yourself and empower yourself through navigating that path. Um, yeah, absolutely. You're going to learn stuff along the way. Um, outside of the intuition, you know, how to, how to clear yourself and... Um, and you get the replays as well, so you can go back and do the re the clearing replays as often as you want um, that are in direct relation to aspects that can shut our um, our intuition down. So, I yeah, there's been a lot of people that have said the stuff that they've taken out of Intuitive View will last them for many, many years, and that's also something I really love about Intuitive View. So it'll just continue to give. <laughs> and if people want to take it again, if you've taken it before, there is a discount for those who want to return because it is six weeks and there's a lot in that time, but it's a continual development as well. And it's mm. good to just re revisit the material with a whole new class. And mm. I could, I just want to say one more thing before we wrap up is I I'm responsible for the videos, so I actually saw the second class that you did, Sarah, and the clearings were very different from the first time. Mm -hmm. So for those who are may want to try it again um, for 
that component as well, you're definitely going to get different, a lot of different things as well. Um, if you yeah. take it again. All right. Yeah. So thank you both once again for joining us. Everybody, thank you. Please like this video, subscribe, comment below. And yeah, let us know if you got the right answer to, to all of it. And uh, <laughs> uh, we'll see you in class, right, Bonnie? Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay. you won't see me, but you'll see Sarah. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Bonnie. Bye. Bye.